This week in the Tackle Box, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing today. You know, we're fishing over at the island, looking for calico bass, never know what to expect, maybe an exotic or two. But because we're targeting the calicos and we have live squid for bait, I really like to fish with the bucktail. And this is a bucktail right here. And they work really good. The big advantage with using a bucktail is I know exactly where my bait is at all time. If it's laying on the bottom, I know that's where my bait is. And as I wind the lure up a little bit, I'm picking that lure up off the bottom, working it. I know exactly where it is. I know that sounds a little weird. You know, why does it matter? But it's really important if you're fishing with a sliding sinker, maybe your sinker's all the way in the bottom, but your bait could be anywhere from five feet to 20 feet off the bottom. You don't know where it is. With the bucktail, as that bait is falling to the bottom, I know that there's no real lots of slack out there. And as that lure's falling, fish picks it up. I know exactly where it is and I can set the hook and I get an idea of the depth that the fish are hanging out in. And I can target that depth over and over. If it's right on the bottom, off the bottom 10, 20 feet or up on the surface, I'll get a good idea by the way this bucktail falls. Now it's really important when you're fishing in these kelpie areas that you have your bucktail take a long time to fall down. Having that live squid on there will help with that. It's going to take longer for it to go down. But what really helps a lot is the size of bucktail you use. This is a half ounce model. This is a six ounce model. This is going to fall a lot faster than that. But if I can get away, if I can cast far enough with a, a half ounce model, that's what I'm going to use. I'm not really necessarily worried about the size of the hook because this is a much smaller. I just want to get that bucktail in there a couple of times and let that bait take its time and flutter down. If I have lots of current or if I have a lot longer cast to make, then I'm going to move up. I'm going to go to a two ounce or a one ounce. Sometimes I even have to use a six ounce bucktail. If we have just have screaming current, that's the only way I can get down there. And I know it looks like a big bait and it is, but to a five pound or eight pound calico bass, this just looks like a little French fry. They're going to eat that whole squid behind it and this at the same time. And they work out really good. Again, I really like the bucktails because I know exactly where my bait is at all times. And the one tip I would tell you is use the lightest bucktail that you can get away with that you can cast comfortably, get it by the kelp and let it slowly flutter down and you'll be successful using these baits with the live squid or even the fresh dead it works really good. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Good morning, we're out here at Catalina on the Outrider and we've got the lights on here and we're jigging for squid. The lights will attract them so I've dropped down a squid jig here and working it up and down real slowly. And occasionally I will snag one and bring it up and put it in the bait tank. So far I've got two in the last five minutes. It's kind of slow out here but as they come around we're hoping to eventually we can rail them and put them aboard but in the meantime have something to do. I'm kind of trying to snag them here. 